WFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 3 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, final trading hour of the day. And we got markets right up there near record territory. Dow Jones up 187 points, trading at 29,217. S&P's positive by more than 18 points, trading at 3,307. NASDAQ positive by 67, trading at 93.25, and the Russell up almost 19 points, more than a solid 1.1% in the Russell, trading at 17.01. We'll start things off checking in on the VIX. As you would expect, very muted action in the VIX. Actually surprising, it's ticked up a bit as the market has just traded a positive territory. But on the day that you have the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court getting sworn in for an impeachment trial, nonetheless, the VIX, 12.35. Start things off, we'll jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow, 29,170, and it's been a trend in one direction to the upside since last night. We're at basically session highs. We were up there at 29,172.28, and we're about to tick right above that level as we speak. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a different story off the highs we made earlier today of 91.19, currently trading 91.05. S&P's almost at the highs as well. We made it to 33.09 and change, almost 33.10, and we're within two S&P points of that level right now. Crude oil, volatility to the upside for the first time in a while in crude. We trade from 57.55 at 7 a.m. this morning all the way up to almost $59. We make a high of 58.85, and we're slightly off that level at 58.44. There's your gold contract trading at 15.51. And the euro US dollar, 111.35. In terms of what else we have happening in the market, earnings season kicking off this week with the banks and Morgan Stanley closing it out with quite a number. Their shares up really 8%, I think, last time I checked, as they beat across the board. Fourth quarter profit surging to $2.24 billion or $1.30 a share. That's well above the 99 cent estimate. Excuse me. And the big number that they had revenue for the quarter climbing 27% to $10.86 billion, exceeding analyst estimates by more than $1 billion, with a B, dollars. And Morgan Stanley up about 7.15% right now, pairing some of the gains, but still quite a week for the bank stocks to kick off earnings season. Stay tuned, folks. we got a treat. Larry Pezzavento filling in for Tom for the hour live from 3 till 4 as we wrap up the trading day. Markets near record territory. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pezzavento coming up right now.